So this session, what we're going to do is look at what we call anaphylactic shock. So what could cause somebody to go into anaphylactic shock? Think of everyday things like nuts, bee stings, dairy products, anything like that could cause an anaphylactic shock. So what happens when a bee comes down, stings you on your arm, what happens inside your body? Your own immune system releases massive amounts of histamine to combat the foreign body, the bee sting that's in ended your body. So what you've got to realize is there's always signs and symptoms. So what would you be looking for signs and symptom wise of somebody that's going into anaphylactic shock? Number one, the airways, instead of being that size, will go smaller. So that would impair the breathing. So you would hear a wheeze, they would have difficulty breathing, that is a sign. They wouldn't be able to tell you clearly that they were going into anaphylactic shock, but straight away you would see blueness round the lips, the lips could start swelling, the airways start closing, and your arteries that you've done in previous sessions will, instead of being that size, they will dilate. So if your arteries dilate, your blood pressure will drop, which could cause a cardiac arrest. So it's important that you know how to use something to combat this massive amount of histamine. If you don't know the person, you might not know that they have allergies. But if you do know the person, you should have an idea of how to use an EpiPen. So an EpiPen, the fancy word is Auto Adrenaline Injector Pen. You need to administer that as soon as possible when you see this person having the anaphylactic reaction. So I will now demonstrate how to use an EpiPen. There is different types of EpiPens, but basically they all the same principle. So, an auto adrenaline injector pen contains adrenaline, which will combat the massive amounts of histamine release. So, the person should be carrying an EpiPen with them. If they can, administer it themselves, encourage them to do it. But don't be frightened to help them or administer it yourself. It is a life-threatening situation. So how would you use an EpiPen? Different types. First one we'll try is this one here. Now, in the end of the orange training is not a needle so don't panic when I inject this to myself there's no needle in there but a normal EpiPen will have a needle in there so please don't touch the orange end you can go like that and it's not primed it's not ready to use because what you've got to do is take the blue cap off once the blue cap is removed that is now primed to use. So hold it like that. You don't need to go and swing it like that because if you go either way the needle could snap. So all you've got to do is go for the upper outermost part of the thigh. There's a big muscle in there. Roughly place it on there and roughly a right angle to there. Once you've got it on a little bit of pressure you'll hear it click Count to 10, once you've got the 10, release, and then hard surface, put the cap back on. Now, most EpiPens are single use, but you do get multi doses in certain pens. So you're going to have to look at the EpiPen and see whether it's single use only or multi use. Because if you don't see a remarkable difference within 5 to 15 minutes, 
you're allowed to administer a second dose. But you should say, if it's an anaphylactic reaction, you should say a remarkable difference. So don't be frightened to use it. So what happens if the person collapses onto the floor before you've had time to use the EpiPen? Again, don't leave them lying on the back. You've already done why you don't, because they could swallow vomit. Get them into the recovery position and then use the EpiPen on them. The next one we'll demonstrate is the same type of pen. This is a Jext trainer pen. The same principle, needle in the end, do not touch the needle end. It's not primed yet till you take the yellow cap off. Take the yellow cap off. Once that's done like that, you can still go like that. Count to 10. Once you've counted to 10, take it off. And again, press down, put the cap back on. The other one is the Emirate Trainer. Again, same principle. Take the top off. Right angle there. Press on. Hold for 10. Once you've counted to 10, top back on. And that's all there is to an EpiPen. But remember, you can give a second dose between 5 and 15 minutes after if there's no change in the person's condition.